Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art Decor and More. We have some really cute parrots tonight. I'll put this one this way so y'all can see. I've got two of the same design that I'm gonna be painting. To have some springtime in your yard. And um, I think these are really cute and I'm gonna do two different versions. So we're coming on tonight. If y'all don't mind, sprinkle the love. If you don't mind doing that. That would be awesome, Daddy Blossom. How are y'all tonight? I have uh, been working crazily because I'm trying to take off this weekend. So I'm trying to get all my stuff done to go over to Ashley's house uh. and uh, spend time over there Saturday and Sunday because we're going to be closed at the store because it's Easter Sunday. Hi, Debbie so. Snyder. Hi, Debbie Snyder. I've been seeing your comments. Hi, Ashley Nikki. Yes, and so I'm really excited to get a little Hi, bit of time Marie. off. I love that name. Who? Lisa, Lisa Marie. Marie. Yeah. Our sister Kelly was going to name, if she had a girl, Lisa Marie, but she had all those boys. And she, she had all boys, and so she didn't get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I'm doing a, uh, I call him the perched parrot. You just need some summertime fun out in the yard or by the pool. Okay, this is Mom. your guy. Uh, actually, Debbie, if you don't mind, could you post the uh, digital and the paper pattern? I'm getting better, y'all, to where I'm actually go ahead when I make this the, the design, I make the paper pattern and I make the digital template. Debbie Snyder said she got her brushes today. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, I had uh, I had sent them out. I think yesterday, Debbie, if I remember right. Hey, that was quick. Yeah, uh, we sent the UPS, and she's not too far from here. Okay, if I remember right. She's not that far from us. Miss Pamela, you have the most interesting looking last name and I'm not even gonna try it. <laughs> so, I just I did run. some shading red and um, that shading red, for those of you that don't know, is just black and red mixed together. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Some black and some red, that's all it is. So, uh, I'm going to do some um, shading yellow. Miss Pam, did I pronounce your name right? We got several Pamelas and so all right, some Pams and some all right. Daddies. Hi, y'all. Share the love if you don't mind, or sprinkle the Hello, love Rad if that's uh, if you're so inclined. We are doing some perched parrots tonight, and uh, to get some kind of summer stuff going, I have uh, been drawing in the uh, AI Illustrator, it's where I draw at, and I have been a drawing fool today, but. Tomorrow, if you're of a, if you can, we'll be on live tomorrow at two in the afternoon. Victoria will be here. We'll Yay. actually, we'll actually be at the store technically. We won't be. Here. I'm at home right now. And uh, Bruce and I built some uh, bird houses today and painted them red, white, and blue. We have some painted red, some white, and some blue. So I, I get with Victoria because she's always up for some kind of shenanigans. And I said. <laughs> uh, Victoria, are you up to coming over tomorrow and helping me freehand some Hi, Sally. blue bonnets onto oh. our um, birdhouses? She's like, absolutely. So she actually, I told her, I said, you, well, I really wanted Victoria to come over because she needs to take the lead because I really don't know what to do on blue bonnets, to right. be honest. So I said, good, you'll take the lead and I will try to keep up with you. So Hi, that's Sherry. tomorrow at two o'clock. And that's, uh, we will be painting bird houses. Oh, that's going to, I wish, I could, I, wish I could join. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Now, y'all, this big giant message was on here for about three seconds, and then it disappeared. So, we always try to go back after the live. I'm not sure where what that was or where it went, but I believe it was a comment. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, oh, guess what? What? Guess what, what Miss Debbie Barberi said. But could she come over? Oh yeah, Debbie. You know you could. Tomorrow at two, Debbie, we're going to be at the store, and um, I'm actually I'm going to be learning from Victoria. To be honest, Victoria is going to be the one. Hi Maria. I don't know if it, all of y'all have had a chance to see. She hasn't been live in I here should. in a while, but Victoria uh, taught art for thirty years. Girl. So she uh, she lives here locally, and she's my go-to person sometimes when I get stuck. Miss Debbie, you knew you didn't even have to ask. You nah, call. Debbie, no, no. Oh. Two o'clock, Debbie. And uh, I had Marcy painting the birdhouses today. Uh, we got we actually made twelve birdhouses, but we only painted oh. six. We painted two of them red, two of them blue, two of them white. So we're gonna get tomorrow and see how our idea. I actually cut out some little states of Texas and some plastic. Oh. 
So I'm gonna make, six of them are gonna just be red, white, and blue, like patriotic, and then six of them are gonna be, when I'm done, they're going to be like Texan stuff. Mm. So, uh, but you know, hey, anything you can do. Miss Debbie said she had to come pick up her order anyway. Oh, good, that's right, Debbie, because I think Debbie ordered a graduation truck. Oh. Maybe something else if I remember. Do you have right. a graduate, uh, Miss Debbie? Is it one of the youngins? Yes, it's her grandson Nicholas oh, is graduating. Nicholas. Yeah. Congratulations, Miss Debbie. Yeah, and Victoria's grandson, um, Wesley, is graduating. Uh, Debbie, Victoria came over yesterday and got her uh, graduation truck for Wesley. She's painting oh. that. And I think that's what Debbie got, if I, if I remember right, a graduation truck. So, got some graduates. Y'all, it's. It's April, so graduation's gonna be here before you know it. That's just the way that works. That is the way, I painted this guy, this light blue, because I think the brilliant blue really shows up against that light blue. So I'm just gonna do some brush strokes in here. We're gonna, Hi, we're gonna come back and as you know, I'm gonna put a lot of white on this guy too. So here we go. Hi Donna. And so, I uh, made birdhouses today, and I base coated this for my live tonight. And when um, tomorrow we'll be on with Victoria at two painting birdhouses. What we're really going to be trying to teach is how to freehand blue bonnets. Of course, oh, this is spring nice. right now, so spring is the time that you would think blue bonnets in Texas anyway. For those of us that are here local mm -hmm. in Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just thought the blue bonnets on the red birdhouses would be really pretty. So Miss Laura Jones um, said that she has four grands graduating uh, this year. Three four? girls, three three girls, and one Girl, boy. I hope you don't go broke trying to buy the <laughs> kids all them presents for graduation. <laughs> four at one time—that's amazing. Senior pictures, senior yes. classroom. Hi, Miss Ava. Uh, hi, Ava. Yeah, uh, it's all that, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can kind of go broke with all that if you're not careful. Hopefully they're not like me, and we didn't know if I was going to graduate till the weekend before. Connie, you ain't supposed to tell them that. <laughs> oh, that you're was not supposed to tell them that. I was a very well-behaved child, but I sure did make You weren't uh, at the top of the class? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no, that's not. I really wasn't. Mary was. Me. No, don't let her tell y'all that. She studied and studied and yeah, studied and studied. I did study, but I had to work for it to get anything. They asked me, did I study? I said yes. And what that usually entailed is I managed to get my pencil and book out. Yeah. By the time it was time to finish and, studying. And, and then your <laughs> brain was just kind of going here and going there. I care. I studied, y'all, because if I didn't, I wasn't going to get out of school. I had to work for anything I got. Oh, Miss Debbie said also proms. Oh, and my parties. Lord. Miss <laughs> yes. Morris said, well, it is iffy on the boy. <laughs> Hey, He's my, related to Kong Kong. My <laughs> nephew was like that. We literally did not know if we should go to graduation because we didn't know if he was going to graduate. Um, hey, Connie Carlin. So, you know, it, it is. It, so, but I taught school, and I would tell my husband, only in public education could you tell one kid you made a 70, they would bust out crying, and you tell the next kid they made a 70, and they would be jumping for joy. Celebrating. Exactly. Only in public education, y'all. That's the way it is when you teach school. You got kids, if they make a 70, they just want to sit down and cry forever. I was very happy making C's, y'all. Were you? I, I, I love school, but I like the, um, you know, visiting. The social and, part? Uh, Mary, if, if Mary got like a 91, she'd be all upset and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, look here, sister. Hi, Jamie. Well, our parents weren't very understanding about that kind of stuff. They they expected <laughs> you to make... If, if you Mary know. made the 86, they're like, they're like oh, oh, what oh, happened? Oh, 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 if I made a 76... <laughs> They were like, okay, Colin. Yay, Colin, Colin. <laughs> well, they shouldn't have asked me math stuff. I'd have been at the head of the class, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If it wasn't for math. Right. I hated math. Yeah. Do y'all like math? Oh, God, I hate math. My friend is, is a, she loves math. And I'm like, I don't know how we're friends. Because yeah, I don't. I'm really not that great at it. I, I did enough to get by, literally. Hey, that's exactly. all I did. That, that's, I can't tell you I did anything else. Because I didn't. I did enough to get by. That's it. But Ashley's really good at math, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, Ashley was always pretty good at math. I wasn't. I mean, like I said, I, I did what I had to to get by, but I didn't really, really understand it or enjoy it. Anything with words, I could figure out. Uh, Miss Debbie said that Christy made a C and cried for a week. Uh, yeah, because Christy I was so happy to make a C. Christy took a <laughs> lot of, uh, if I remember right, she took a lot of pre and P classes. Oh, gotcha. And then, you know, if she made a bad grade, she'd be really, really upset. And... I would always 
always tell the kids when I taught school, y'all chill. It's okay if you don't always make hundreds. And, you know, some kids are, they just don't like that. They want to make a hundred on everything. And then, but you know, when you get out in life, what what is the reality of an adult doing the equivalent of a hundred and everything? Uh -huh. No, it's not. I mean, you're, you're not going to make a hundred. As adults, you're not going to go out and run the track and make a hundred, you know, uh -huh. and do your sign. I mean, really, you go find a field that you're pretty good at, and it's probably in some sort of field of not seven different dis disciplines. We have a really intelligent nephew. All of our, our, our nephews kids, yeah. and nieces. Yeah. But he just got bored, I think, with school is what mm -hmm. happened with him. Yeah. He ended up being an electrician. He, mm -hmm. He's pretty, pretty and he, he does. He does Ms. well Laura for said himself. she actually has another granddaughter that skipped her senior year. Uh, yep. Got her uh, GED. Because uh -huh. there's there's kids that they can do that. They they really can. Uh, I, I wasn't like that. I definitely wasn't like and, that. Um, I was just trying to get through it all and everything. Now, I might have been interested in talking to my friends, so maybe that was part of the situation. Not saying for sure. There were but two class clowns. I mean, how I end up sitting next to them in every single class, I don't know. But boy, did they keep me laughing. Yeah. I hope that they were like, became stand up comedians or something, but somehow I might. I you, might uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, laughing is important. Exactly. You don't want to always be boring. I mean, don't get me wrong, I studied and I did what I was supposed to. You really to did. And all study. That, you really you know? did. You took really wonderful notes. But y'all, y'all gotta consider this is like back in what 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, it, we didn't How have about the internet. 40, yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna get that <laughs> technical, but we didn't have the internet and anybody that, I mean, we didn't have anybody saying, hey, you take your notes this way. It was right. just country folk. Uh, you kind of figure it out or you don't. Exactly. Hi, Veronica. Y'all, I'm loving Hi, this man. bird. I wasn't sure if I was gonna really like him. I think I he's, like him. he's not gonna look good, honestly, y'all, until I put a lot of. Of white on him because he's really dark or right? uh -huh. these darker colors but Hi, he's, he's fixing to get lightened up with some highlights and she has some more pieces that she's gonna do uh come on and, and show y'all i don't know what day since you're going out of town for the weekend yeah and there's more than these little parents and so y'll oh, be doing i'm on every day this week we, we have the academy opening up so mm -hmm. i'll be on every day this week and um tomorrow i will be doing blue bonnets the next day, which I think is Friday, I will be doing turtle. The next day, which is Saturday, I'll be doing two worms. In They're fact, so cute, y'all. They're chubby. Oh, my gosh. I so already cute. have the worms, the turtles, the um, worms, turtles, and the birds, these parrots, on the site. If you want to order uh. blanks, they are available. So I already have all that in there. I got up today and drew all of this stuff and then cut it and all that kind of stuff. So I was over the shop a lot today because we had stuff going on over there. And uh, so I came home this afternoon and base coated this. Hi, Jenna. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So notice I just take this brush Jenna, and I just kind of go in those C and C lines, uh -huh. up and down those C and C lines. And this that I'm using is called a script liner. We sell them. You can get them on Amazon. Probably any craft store near you like a Michaels would have them. And the, the beauty of the script liner is you can do a lot of outlining with it. And you can do a lot of covering pretty easily with it. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about it. Hi, Joanne. Now, I uh, it takes some work to get used to it. I uh, did not start script lining when I first started. I used magic markers, but you can go broke. You know, if you're doing really small items, magic markers are okay. But when I would do eight foot Santas, I could spend, you know, back then, I don't know how much money just on a marker. And one day my mother-in-law came in and she's like, you have to learn to use a script liner. You're going to go broke. Mm -hmm. I really wasn't feeling that, but you know, it's your mother-in-law. So what you going to do? Just do it. You weren't feeling it when she first suggested it? No, because ah. I really didn't. I didn't. I had seen her use a script liner because she was a painter, too. I'd seen her use a script liner for years, and it didn't look easy. No. You know I've what tried I mean? it several times. It, 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 it's, not, it's definitely not. It's a lot of control in the upper arm, not in the fingers. That's what gotcha. you have to remember. Excuse me. That's what you have to remember. I remember one time coming to Mary and telling her, okay, you told me to use this script liner. What I feel like I'm doing, I feel like I'm pushing a noodle and expect, like a noodle and mm -hmm. expecting mm -hmm. it and to. In a way, that's, that's really the way it is. 
Yeah. I like, it's, you know how whenever you're using a pen and you're guiding your pen, you really can't do that that much with mm -hmm. this with the script liner. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it takes some control, but once you get it down, it's like anything else. You you'll be so glad you did. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange on here on his feet. Now, y'all, a lot of times I use the paint we sell is the latex paint it gets really gummy on you. So you wanna make sure you always add water to it to make that paint move. You cannot move paint that's gummy. It doesn't right. work. It just doesn't, that, you're just gonna be frustrated. So I put water in mine all the time. And I'm gonna take a little bit of orange. We need some, we need some bright on this guy. And notice I'm just, I'm not really outlining, I'm just kind of making some brush strokes. Now on his little feet, I am gonna outline it in orange. And orange is not, this shading orange really isn't too terribly different from the shading yellow, but it is different. And it'll give you a kind of a dimensional look. And you want your little feetsies to be covered in paint. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna forget those. And then the thing about outlining too, is it covers any and all little areas that uh, have not been covered yet. So you want to make sure you always outline if you can. And that script liner is what I out, I've outlined with for probably 30, 35 years. I don't, I don't know, a long time, a long time. Now, I'm going to do something a little different. Normally I use a script liner, but this little guy really needs some light to lighten him up mm -hmm. because he's so dark. So I'm gonna take this white paint with this. To me, here's where the magic happens. I'm going to just do this. I'm gonna put a lot of white on this guy. See, already he's kind of lightening up. Notice my strokes are not perfect in any manner, and that does not bother me. It's almost like I got a dry brush going. Because this is really your interpretation. We don't want this to look like a machine did it because right. the machine did not do it. Hi, Robin. Yeah, you just kind of want to put a lot of white. I'm doing almost a dry brush look on mm -hmm. this guy because he's got so dark. Hi, and I don't, he's a bird. He needs to be light and bright in my mm -hmm. opinion. So I'm going to just kind of keep going. Does anybody have any questions about how to do the strokes or... Um, any questions at all? Hi, Jennifer Sullivan Brock. So, I, um, I really like doing this, but at the same time, y'all, sometimes it's, it turns into work, but <laughs> anything would, right? That you're really trying to, um, make it look a certain way. Now, I picked this script liner up because I don't have a lot of space on his feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this guy around. Man, that you white can really see transformed him. Okay, what my exactly. bird looks like right there. Let's let's look at them side by side if we could. Could you turn that around for just a second? Mm -hmm. So this is basically kind of the look that we started out with. If you just joined, yeah. And she turned it into that. Look at the difference. Mm -hmm. How pretty. And it, all it is is just using paint and brushes, and and obviously there's a technique to it. You just have to practice. Um, so I, uh, I remember when I started with this script liner, I just, I just kind of locked myself up for a week or so every day after school and would come out here and practice, practice on cardboard and stuff like that. Okay, so over there I used black. Over here I'm going to use navy blue. Mm -hmm. Again, we sell navy blue. All the paint that we sell, obviously, is for outdoors. Mm -hmm. All right. Honey roots. So you're going to do all of this. And uh, so, but you can get paint anywhere. Hi, Jennifer Sullivan. Yep. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? You can get paint anywhere you want to. If you do a bunch of yard art, I would suggest using, out, I use outdoor latex paint, semi-gloss. Does it last a long time? Last a long outdoors. time. And you want to make sure, because you don't want to spend all this time painting something and then the, the paint chip off. And the, if you're not careful, that's what an acrylic will do. And I'm not knocking acrylics. My mother-in-law used acrylics okay. all those years, but she painted for indoor stuff. 
Miss Pat wants to know where do I buy paint from you? On uh, yard art decor and more. It's our website. Miss Pat, you have to understand a couple things. She's new. Gotcha. So she's trying to she's trying to get what I call her sea legs. Gotcha. She's trying to figure out I'm lost. Where do I go? So Miss Pat, you go to yardartacademy.com to look at videos, right? That's the place you want to go to to look at tutorials, videos, and things like that. And that is specific to you. That's just yardartacademy.com. But you want to go to Yard Art Decor and More is our website. And that website is all of our products. It's going to be our finished yard art as well as any blanks if you decide you want to really buy blanks. It. Or you cut your own. You know, we have a lot of people that cut their own. But the paint is in... Yard art, decor, and more. And I'll say it a couple of times because I know that's a big, long thing, you know. But it's, And we did just change names. Yeah, so. yeah. So, yard, art, decor, and more. That's where you want to go to to get paint if you want to buy paint from us. Miss Debbie said that Ashley sent her a link. Okay, good. So, okay, good. Ashley, if you're in here, I, I just haven't seen you yet. Yeah. Sorry about that. Good. Yeah, it is kind of confusing, Pat, so just hold on. I promise you we'll answer your questions and stuff, but don't stress. Yard Art Academy is where you're going to go see videos. Yard Art Decor and More is where you're going to order stuff. If, if you want to order from us, that's where you go to. Right. So I hope that helps. Let's go back this way. I got to turn this guy around. All right, and obviously, Pat, we're on the Facebook page right now, and we're in Painters in the Making. Now, also, we do, we have a um, a Yard Art Academy Facebook group. We'll be in there next week after everybody's had a chance to join, and Ashley will be doing the reversible flowers. I love, I can't wait for that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, Ashley's going to be doing that. And thank you guys so much for the love. We really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thank y'all for that. We that means so much to us. It's so helpful. It is. It's so helpful. Helps people find us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I decided to stick with blue and yellow on this guy. Now, obviously, this guy you could make him a bazillion different colors. I even like the Thank idea you, of doing a green. I just didn't do it because I stuck with blue and red. Mm -hmm. But you definitely could do a green on this guy. Thank any, you, Miss Debbie. Any color you wanted, really. Miss Debbie, just put the address in. Okay, thank you, Debbie. Because it is a lot. When you when you first you, find us, you know, like we have a YouTube channel. We have two or three. We have two Facebook pages. <laughs> Bless, excuse me. We have a website. It's It can be overwhelming. YouTubes. Between YouTube, Facebook, website, uh, Academy. And what's that other one? Yard Art Academy. Yeah. It's a lot. It, it is a lot. Pinterest. Pinterest. We have a Pinterest account. <laughs> so... I, yeah. sure I promise you, though, we'll, we'll get you in, in the right direction. The cool thing about where you're at right now, and uh, Pat, I think you were asking earlier if you could not find MDO what to do. So hold on a minute. If you can't find MDO, which is totally possible, you're going to go try to find the best birch you can. Baltic birch, if you can. If you can't, just find some birch if you can. It's a plywood, and so it's not as good as MDO. So, but if you can't find MDO, then that's the way it is. Miss Pat, Debbie, just put the link in the room. See if you can see yeah. that. She put the the direct link to the paint. Okay, good. Thank you, Debbie. So, if you want to use your birch plywood, that might be all you can find. Go ahead and cut your stuff out, and after you get everything cut out, you're going to take this 3M Edge Edge Sealer. You can get it at Amazon. Okay, Amazon. And tell them one more time where they can get the link. For Miss Debbie put that in the room. Which the, link? the link for the paint, because several of them are okay. saying they can't find the paint. Okay. You have to go to Yard Art Decor and More and click on paint. And okay. Miss Debbie just put that okay, in there good. for y'all, okay? All right. So this you can get on Amazon. I don't sell it, but you can if I have to use birch every now and then, I've in fact I think last year I did a class on birch, if I remember right. I would take this, and once everything is dry, I would take that and put it right here on the edge. After everything, after you've done everything, put that edge sealer all on each edges. Because plywood, when it has a problem, it's the problem is always on the mm -hmm. edge. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to split out on you on plywood. Now, this is a pretty doggone smelly epoxy. It is. It, it, it it's kind of like, do it outside. 
but it will extend the life of your piece. I promise. If you'll do edge it. sealer, edge sealer, yeah. And Miss Donna was wanting to know. She said, "Is the academy that is opening up going to start from basic painting, or is it coming in where you are from the original group?" Okay, so good question, and the answer is both. So let me try to explain that answer. What the, what does that mean? Well, if you've never painted yard art before, which some of you guys have not. I would suggest you're gonna spend some time in yardartacademy.com. And there's kind of a path to success in there. There's videos in there where Ashley and I nail down every detail you can think of. And it may take you some while to go through those videos. So that's the first thing I would suggest to somebody brand new to yard art. The second thing I would suggest is when we do go live and you can, watch what we do ask questions during the live just like right now you're asking questions during those lives i can stop and and really kind of talk you through what you need to do right <laughs> y'all it's thundering here so our dogs are going crazy <laughs> they don't like it so i would say if you're new make sure you spend some time in yardartacademy.com and look at those videos because we're not going to go back to the drawing board and teach all brand new, you know, what you need to do in the very, very, very beginning on everything because we have those videos. Okay, y'all, my dogs are acting crazy. Sorry, Hold on. <laughs> Ellie, stop. Ellie. No, oh, no. It like it sounded stop. really stop. good. Come here, come here, Ellie. Come here, Ellie. Hold on. Let me just hold on. It like really, 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 really loud. Come on. Come on, Ellie. Come on. <laughs> Hi, D. Arnold. Sorry about that, y'all. And Jamie Bowen uh, would like to know, are these finished birds going to be available for purchase? Yes, but not for a little while uh, because I have got to uh, get them in the system and all that good stuff. When I do get them in the system, though, I will post them, if that makes any sense. Poor Ellie. <laughs> Ellie's upset because I locked her out. But y'all, if I don't lock Ellie out, she will come over here and she'll jump on top of my head. She has such anxiety. She does. So when I get done with this Hi, video, Courtney. what I'll do is I'll go and I'll put her thunder blanket on her. And I'll sit down with her because she just goes berserk yeah, if I don't. She's scared. But right now I can't do that. So hopefully I answered that question. You're going to spend time in Yard Art Academy watching those videos. Then you're going to spend time just like what we're doing right now. Between the two... You can you can learn pretty much anything you need, and don't be shy. Ask questions. That's what that's important too. Just like you are doing now, ask questions because you don't know. You know, if you're new to us, there's a lot of stuff you're just not going to know yet. Which is the whole reason you're here. Can y'all hear Ellie banging on the door? She's Poor mad. <laughs> she she doesn't like being separated from me. No, mm -mm, she, don't. she doesn't like that. Us too, Carolyn. Carolyn said, I love the light blue one. I do too. So I do too. I, you know, when you're doing color, it's kind of hard sometimes to figure out what I want to do. And notice this, just this orange that I'm putting on here just gives it a little bit more um, color. And I'm not doing anything other than just dragging that script liner. This is a shading orange on top of that shading yellow. It's not a real, a big difference in the two colors, but it is different enough. Listen to this. Laura said that my son and daughter-in-law's dogs are scared to death of thunder. If my son and daughter-in-law are here, uh, if I'm home alone with them, they are fine. Yeah, they, that's, <laughs> isn't, him. isn't that how kids are? Yes. Like when grandma keeps the kids, the kids are fine. The parents come to pick the kids up and, and the kids all, are like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's just how kids are. I promise you. And y'all that just joined, we've got a bunch of more little characters besides the parrots. Uh, we've got some some worms coming up. And, you know, yeah. I would be the last one to be in love with worms. They are, y'all, they are so cute. Hey, Bruce, we're doing a live. Can you please get, take them in there? Ellie Mae's trying to jump on. Well, honey, I'm trying to work. Y'all, okay. I. you come know here. what? She's good. They're good. They're, good. Come here. They're not good. Come here. Come here. Bruce let him back in here because he heard him banging the door down. And he didn't want him to have to put the door back up later. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why? Yeah, so it's just the way it is. That's life. That's just the way. That's what happens in real life, y'all. Because you know it's never going to be perfect. 
Well, if we were waiting around for that, we might we, be waiting we, a little bit. Yeah, we might be waiting a long time. <laughs> All right, I got to see. I see a problem over here. I got to put a little bit more uh, right. pain in this one. So, um, Lord, what kind of dogs do y'all have? Or do they have? Here. There we go. I'm getting a little bit more coverage with this blue, which is what I wanted. Just a little bit more. Taking that script liner. Okay, now I think I'm ready to pick up my little brush. This guy, I'm gonna do the same thing with this flat tip brush. I just cleaned it and it, I have water back here that y'all can't see. That's what I keep moving over here. Keep washing out these brushes. So I'm gonna take some just on the corner of that brush like that. I'm gonna kind of take some off. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna put quite a bit of white on here. Yeah, it's supposed to be bad weather for the next several days, oh, so it's gosh. not gonna be good around here, y'all. Come on, buddies. Yeah, it's just that's just the way my animals are. That honestly, I, I I think sometimes I just spoiled them too much. I, I don't know. Well, that's what they're for. I know. They I, make us sometimes smile I, so much. I wonder if I, I was my own worst enemy at that. <laughs> I'm gonna put quite a bit of white on this. And notice that, excuse me, that white just kind of lightens things up. Mm -hmm. And where do I put the white? I put the white where there is no shading color. The yellow is your base color, so that's where I'm putting a lot of that white. I'm not gonna put the white on top of the shading color. I don't wanna do that. I wanna put the white on a base color. Here, light blue is my base color, right? This is light blue, so that's where I go with my white wherever that base color is. And how do you decide that? Just from years of doing Just it? Just years of doing it, and I think that's what looks good. Because yeah. in painting, painting you want drama. In your personal life, you don't, or right. I don't. Right, right. I'm not into that. I, Give I live, something to look at. I live peaceably, I live boringly, and I ain't looking to And we kind of like that. Yeah. But when, when you look at what we do, I want it to be dramatic. So what right. makes it dramatic? You've got dark blue, You've got brilliant blue, you've got light blue, you've got white. So you've got three shades of blue plus your white. And that to me gives me that drama that I'm looking for. We could paint this without any shading. And it would just it wouldn't it wouldn't be bad, but it wouldn't get that wow factor. So if you want that wow factor, you're gonna have to do some shading. And notice I'm coming back, I'm putting some white on here because I know that that is going to make my piece really stand out. That I didn't like, hold on y'all. I got some black on there. So I just, if you do that, just wipe it off with your finger and then wipe it on your shirt. That's what I normally do. Miss Laura said that uh, they have a German Shepherd, a Husky mix, oh. one is a pit bull. Uh, one, I think that was supposed to be Terrier. Then a Shih Tzu mix. Oh, I love to see some bitches oh. with that. And she has a miniature long haired, Dash in a little weenie dog. Oh, a little weenie dog. Uh, I love we those. We love to see the pictures of y'all's babies. Yeah. Every so often, I'll put a picture of my dogs, and I'll put, show me your pups, and everybody <laughs> shows us. That's that's a post that, you know, people are really going to, they love to show their pets. I've been in a training class since uh, January the 17th, and uh, boy, we we love to get to share in our pets. That's yeah, the highlight of Yeah, everybody wants to talk about their pets. Because we sure don't want to talk about uh, the lecture. <laughs> It's boring. It is. And you don't want to talk about bills or paying bills or anything like that. Talk about and that. nobody wanna talk about that. Because mm -hmm. everybody knows that that's boring too. So pets are just they're just yes, the best. We do love our animals. We do. We do. And oh and two cats. She also has two cats. Two cats. I don't know if I said that. Oh my land. You so do they're animals, well, I, just like we are. We have six dogs and we really <laughs> we're not supposed to have that many, but that's all. So right. they ever get mad at us and tell us Well, to... whenever they come driving around the, the pound I just try to hustle them all into the house. The little ones are always inside, so yeah, they they usually are. And honestly, the big, the, ones the too. big dogs like to be inside, but of they course do. they'll go out and play. I'm just kind of coming back and putting in that white here, just kind of going in here. All right, I think I see a little bit of place here. Okay, let's do it. I want to show y'all. the two of them together. Um. So I have the darker one and the lighter one. 
And I honestly would like to see this in a green. I know that sounds kind of weird. Oh, that would be beautiful. I would like to see him in a green, so I may have to come back and do him in a green too. You know, I would love to see his pastels because some of those that you mm -hmm. see also are a really pretty uh, pastel color. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are beautiful. Yeah. And really, it's just brush stroking. That's mm -hmm. that's really all it is. I mean, I, I can say that's all it is. And, of course, I've been doing it for a long time, but it's just brush stroking. That's all it is. And just any place that you can find to make those white strokes, you would mm -hmm. you would do. Hey, Miss Pat, I see that you found um, you found the paint. Thank you for Good. your order so much. Yeah, it's it can be overwhelming trying to figure everything out at first. Yeah, then after be. about a couple of weeks, you're like, okay, I know what I'm doing. What I love about this though is you are learning to teach from a. Te I mean, you're learning from a teacher. Yeah. Such a big difference if you're learning from a teacher as first to maybe someone that's not so much. Y'all, there is my two poets. I call them the. We got a name them, y'all. What should we name the them? The perching parrots. <laughs> but they're precious. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Go on over to yardartacademy.com if you think you want to join us. You can cancel at any time. And really, the Yard Art Academy is a focus on learning. So when I come on live on this page, I've just kind of relaxed and we just talk a lot. When we go in live in the academy, it's I on. think last year there was sometimes I would go live maybe four times on one piece because I start at the very, very beginning. And I start with base coating and why I base coat this way. Of course, you can always base coat any way you want. But the purpose is, is for me to share what I do and see, you know, see if you like that, if you, if you think that's better. And so uh, sometimes in the, in the academy, I'll go live two or three times on one piece. And that's because the purpose of being there is, is really a learning experience. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Connie, for being our great camera person. Mm -hmm. I will be on tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. Victoria and I will be doing blue bonnets. And maybe this Debbie too. And Debbie, she's gonna come over. Hi, Debbie, Debbie, you can get in front of the camera too if you want to. She never wants she to. She, she's like, oh no, I'm over here behind the camera. So we will see y'all tomorrow at two o'clock. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you so much.